Hey everyone, I am Nitij and today I will walk you through how to create a dynamic typewriter effect using React hooks. This is not just a fun project but it's also a great way to deepen your understanding of React's capabilities and also enhance your UI UX design skills as well. So imagine a digital storytelling website where text appears as if it's being typed in real time which adds a layer of engagement to the narrative or consider a portfolio website where project titles are dynamically typed as the user scrolls through. These are just a couple of examples where the typewriter effect can add that extra flair to your web presence. This is what we will be building in this tutorial video. Now let's take a look at the final product. Here is a demo of the typewriter effect we are going to build. Notice how the text appears character by character and also pay attention to the speed control which we will implement as a part of this project. So we can start the typewriter, we can stop it. If it's already running then we can pause it or we can also resume it. So these are all the features that we will implement in our custom typewriter hook. So let's get started. Alright, so this is Visual Studio Code and I have already set up the basic structure of inputs and buttons that we are going to need to test our typewriter hook and I have done all this beforehand so that we can focus entirely on creating our typewriter hook but still let me just give you an overview of what is already here. So we have a text area input which is going to act as the input element to accept the text that we want to be outputted as a typewriter text and then we have these buttons for start stop pause and resume these are self-explanatory i think because i have already showed you in the demo how these are going to work start is going to start the typewriter effect stop is going to stop it pause and resume are going to as the name says pause and resume them this div is going to show the status if the typewriter is currently running or not and finally this div is for the typewriter output and this is how this layout of buttons and input is currently looking but there is no functionality associated with all of these buttons right now but that is what we are going to do so let's get started with implementing our typewriter hook so the first thing that i will do is i will create a new folder in the src folder with the name hooks and inside hooks i will create another folder with the name use type writer now in this use typewriter i will create a new file with the name index.js first let's create the typewriters hook function so const use typewriter equals to an arrow function let's also export it from here so export default use typewriter all right now the first thing i'm going to do is to provide a prop over here for on complete so this will be a function which will be called when the typewriter effect is finished or completed apart from that we are going to need a bunch of state variables the first one is going to be if the typewriter is running or not so is typewriter running and let me just close this from over here so if is typewriter is running set is typewriter running equals to use state with initial value of false we will need another state variable for the typewriter text which is going to contain all the updated typewriter text so type writer text and set typewriter text okay equals to use state I am going to initialize it with a default empty string we can also have the speed state variable to set the type writing speed so sorry set speed equals to use state so I am going to um, have the default speed as 50 so we will be using the maximum speed of 100 which will indicate 100% speed. Next, we will need the state variable for the source 
text that we will be using for the typewriter effect so source text set source text again this is going to be an empty string as a default value and then um, finally we will use another state variable to indicate the current index of the character that is going to be um, you know uh, printed next with the typewriter effect so current index and then set current index equals to use state we need to initialize it with a zero so zero is the um, you know initial index value we will also need to create some kind of interval to be able to um, you know output each text or each character in a timely fashion so for that i am going to create a ref and let's just call it as interval ref and we will use it to store the intervals so use ref all right now the first thing which i'm going to add is the function to start the type writer so i start typewriter this function is going to accept two arguments the first one is going to be new text and then new speed new speed uh, but this is a normal function this is not an arrow function so we don't need the arrow symbol so if new text is not an empty text then we can simply set the source text as new text let's do the same for speed if new speed is not an undefined or null value then we can simply set the speed state variable with this new speed now when the start typewriter function is going to be called then we can simply set the is typewriter state variables state to true so set is typewriter running to true now after the start typewriter we can have the pause and resume typewriter so pause typewriter the pause typewriter is simply going to um, you know set the is typewriter running to false we will also don't need the text and speed arguments similarly for the resume typewriter we are going to set it to true and for the stop typewriter for the stop typewriter we are going to set it to false apart from that um, we will be setting the typewriter text to empty and we can also um, set the or reset the current index now if you want to stop the typewriter by clearing out the typewriter the current typewriting text then set this state variable otherwise you don't need to do that okay so finally we can you know return all of these values so the things that we will be returning or the items that the component which is going to use this hook is going to need are the type writer text the current type writer text that is going to uh, you know have all the um, new characters appended to it one by one based on a fixed interval and then is typewriter running to get to know if it's running or not and then these four functions start typewriter and then pause typewriter and then resume typewriter and then stop typewriter now we have created all of these functions but how is our typewriter effect actually going to work so for that we are going to use a effect hook which is going to execute a function whenever the is typewriter running is going to be changed or whenever the current index will change or whenever the speed will change okay so you will see what i'm talking about in a moment so use effect and let's provide a function as an argument and for the dependency array we need to use if is typewriter is running so for instance if a user wants to pause and resume the typewriter running by calling those functions then we will have to associate some logic with it 
similarly if the current index is changed that means that next character is going to be printed in the typewriter effect and also if the speed is changed then also we can update the logic so that you know um, we can also change the speed on the fly but right now let's handle only these three dependencies okay so for this use effect first we will check if there is typewriter running is true and the current index is less than the source text dot length then only we will need to run the typewriter effect so and current index is less than source text dot length if it's the case then first we will have to calculate the effective speed so to calculate the effective speed we will simply have to um, use a max speed and then subtract the speed from the max speed because we will be using the um, the set interval so with set interval the interval that we are going to provide is going to be inversely proportional to the speed that we will be giving as an argument to the start typewriter function so for that let's create a const max speed equals to 100 and effective speed is going to be max speed minus speed all right next we are going to use this interval ref to store the return value of set interval function so interval ref dot current equals to set interval and then we will provide a function as a callback so in this callback function we are simply going to update the type writer text with a new text so what we will do is we will simply append the next character to the existing typewriter text and how are we going to get the next character that's the question so for that we will create a new function with the name get next character or next get car so let's do that the next character um, can be fetched from this function get next care so get next care equals to an arrow function const new care so const new character is going to be the character in the source text at the current index so source text dot character at current index and we will also have to update the current index so that it can point to the next index or the next index value so set current index now previous index will be provided as an argument to the function which will be called when we will call the set state um, function which is set current index so previous index is the argument so we will simply return previous index plus one and finally we will return the new care all right now let's get back to our effect function so for the um, for the interval we have to use the effective speed but we cannot use it like that because a user can provide any arbitrary value in the speed so the speed can go to negative the effective speed can go to negative when we will subtract the speed from max speed so we will have to use math.max so that the minimum speed which can be set is going to be zero so effective speed comma zero and yep that's everything we need to do for this if condition this condition is going to check if the current index is less than source text dot length which simply means that the end of text has not been reached and the typewriter effect should run by displaying the next characters and by you know incrementing the current index so if else if is typewriter running we still have to you know run this effect if this is true and current index is equal to source text dot length we are not using minus one because we are simply incrementing it over here without putting any kind of limits on it so if it's equal to source text dot length then we will simply clear the interval which is stored in the 
interval refs uh, reference so interval ref dot current and let's also set is typewriter running to false now remember that we have provided an on complete um, argument for this function so when the typewriter effect is done running then we can simply check if on complete is available then we can simply uh, hold on call it as a function so on complete all right so because we are using the set interval we have to make sure that when the component unmounts then the interval is cleared so we will you know return a function from over here which will do the cleanup so uh, clear interval and the interval which needs to be cleared is the interval ref current value so interval ref dot current so is there anything else that we need to do for this hook well i don't think so i think we have covered all the aspects the um, the state to check if the typewriter is running or not the actual typewriter text that needs to be rendered the speed source text current index and the interval ref and all the functions to start pause resume and stop the typewriter all right now it's time to use this hook in our app.js file so the first thing that i will do is i will import this typewriter hook so use typewriter and in the app component let's you know destructure all the all of these things so i'm just going to copy them from over here and then paste them over here equals to use typewriter now let's also format this document okay now it's time to integrate our hook with the existing inputs and the buttons so the first thing that i will do is to set the on click events so for the start i'm just going to call it start typewriter the text is going to be the input text which is associated with this text area this one and hold on input text for a speed i'm just going to provide 20 for now for a stop i am going to call the stop typewriter function for pause i will be calling the pause typewriter and for resume button let's call the resume typewriter okay so now um, if the typewriter is running then what we will do is if is typewriter running then we will print over here typewriter running otherwise we will print typewriter not running all right and finally the last div is going to display the current typewriter text so typewriter text all right that i think is everything we need to do to integrate the typewriter hook now it's time to see if it's working correctly or not so it says use ref is not defined okay um use state you know what use ref so now when there are no errors we can test it by simply pasting some dummy lorem ipsum text in this text input i'm just going to paste it and then click on start so our typewriter has now started to run but there seems to be some kind of issue with the text which is rendering i'm just going to refresh it because it is running in an infinite loop it seems so i think what the problem is why the typewriter hook is not working as expected and that is because i have mistakenly set the interval ref dot current index instead of interval ref dot current probably because of the intellisense now let's save it and see now if it's working correctly or not let's paste some dummy text click on start so now it seems to be working correctly all the characters are appearing one by one let's pause it it's now paused let's resume it it is now resumed stopping it is going to stop it so that's pretty much it guys for this video you now have a fully functional typewriter effect in your react application if you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new please hit that subscribe button it really supports the channel and you will get notified whenever i release more content like this also feel free to drop any questions or feedback in the comments below until next time this is nitej signing off happy coding